This afternoon, we want to shed light on a condition impacting more and more Asian American women. And it remains a mystery as to why. Lung cancer is the second most common cancer in both men and women here in the United States. And now, a Bay Area based study finds that 80%, 80% of Asian American women with lung cancer never smoked. They're also one and a half to two times more likely to be diagnosed than any other racial group. I spoke with the researchers and patients who are working to figure out what's behind this. <laughs> Vicki Nee doesn't take walks like this for granted. Each step has a purpose, and she's rarely by herself. And if you happen to pass them, you might think these are just two friends catching up. But the women who join her all share a common bond. They all have stage four lung cancer. Living with stage four cancer means that you have, you know, a, a bomb strapped to your chest and it could go off at any time. It all started five years ago when she got a call from her doctor. But I remember vividly that he called me while we were out um, having dinner and um, left a voicemail. Before she knew it, Vicky was sitting in an oncologist's office. The word cancer comes out of your doctor's mouth, so that's kind of not good. Vicky never smoked a day in her life, but yet this 48-year-old mother of two has stage four lung cancer. I was asking them, I'm like, okay, so how long is treatment and you know, when are we done with this? And um, no one had told me up until then <laughs> uh, that it was, it was stage four, so it was incurable. And so, you know, I would basically have to live with the con this condition for the rest of my life. Um, and the best case scenario is that I live with this condition for the rest, the rest of my life. Vicki is now 53 and the treatments have been brutal. They've given her high blood pressure and high cholesterol. The cancer has now spread to her abdomen. But it's not the physical side effects that hurt the most. Vicki has two daughters who were 13 and 15 when she was first diagnosed. They know that I have cancer um, and we don't talk about sort of staging. Um, we don't talk about cures or anything like that. They just know that I've had cancer for, you know, five years now. A few years ago, Vicki was asked to participate in a research program at UCSF called FANS. FANS, standing for Female Asian Never Smokers, launched 15 years ago by Dr. Scarlett Gomez and Dr. Iona Chang, a first of its kind study in the U.S. on why lung cancer rates were rising among Asian females who never smoked. Lung cancer rates actually have been declining over the past several decades. Um, but what was sort of emerged as an unusual observation is that the exception to that trend was among Asian American females. The doctors hope the FAN study leads to the development of more preventative measures and screening, but also grab the attention of the folks with the deep pockets. Right now, less than 1% of funding from the National Institute of Health goes to diseases that impact the Asian American community. There is this perception that Asians don't get sick. We have very low rates of disease, um, and so NIH, to the extent that their primary focus is to fund health research, um, relies on those statistics. It's just made us very strong advocates to really give a voice, to be able to speak out about the need to look at specific Asian ethnicity populations, to give them representation, to provide the data. Vicky isn't spending her energy wondering why or how she got lung cancer. Well, when you get um, diagnosed with cancer, um, I think you learn to control the things that you can and let go of the things you can't. And I have not tried to probe why I got cancer. I don't think it's like a healthy exercise. Mm -hmm. Instead, she's turning her pain into purpose by reaching out to other women like 34-year-old Kit Ho, who she recruited to also be part of the fan study. If my tissue, if my saliva can help the researchers to find more medicine or find, find more ways to identify people early, then I, I want to be part of it. Kit was diagnosed on Thanksgiving of last year. Doctors discovered four tumors in her brain that they believe were linked to lung cancer. Just like Vicki, she never smoked. 
She's also a mom. I was just thinking, why, why did I get it? <laughs> so, yeah, and, the, and the, the most thing I was thinking when I was diagnosed was my two little kids, because they are two and four. And so, and lung cancer, being a nurse, I know it's not a good outcome. Kit will often join Vicki on her walks. They are allies in the same fight. It's like a, a safety blanket for me to know other people are in the area. If cancer has taught her anything, it's that life can change in an instant. Vicki is focusing on the things that bring her joy, family, friends, and helping others know that even in their hardest moments, they won't have to walk this path alone. I want to do everything I can to make this diagnosis sort of meaningful for the world. Now, the FAN study looks at a patient's genetics and family history, as well as environmental aspects and lifestyle exposures. They're also looking for participants, especially older Asian women who do not have lung cancer, to join their study. For more information on the FAN study, you can go to our website, kpix.com.